Megan Barker comes from a long line of lawyers and is the only grandchild of the late Edmund William Barker, Singapore's ex-minister for law. She addresses famous politicians and people from high society as aunties and uncles. So how does a high society girl celebrate a joyous occasion like Christmas? In this clip, Megan sings some of her favorite Christmas songs for you and reviews how you could celebrate Christmas Barker style. We celebrate it exuberantly. Everybody gets ten presents each. Sometimes twenty presents each, and it's a it's a really time to tell each other how much we love each other. Even though we never say it, we all we show it, I guess. And I still get a stocking, even though I'm twenty one. Actually, I have my stockings from last year still on my bed because I was so happy about it that I just didn't want to even like leave. So it's still there. Now I heard that you requested for the biggest Christmas tree yeah. this year. So that's my like... request. If there's not a big Christmas tree, I'm upset. <laughs> okay, now is it a、uh, is a party like a family affair, a very small one, or is it well, a big lavish party? We have two parties. We have on the twenty fourth, it's a family gathering, just for closest friends and my family. At twelve o'clock, we open all the presents. We don't go to church anymore. We should, but we don't. We stay home and open presents, and the whole floor is just covered in wrapping paper. Even my dog gets a Christmas present, and she opens it. It's quite cool. And on the twenty fifth, um. The little cousins that we have in Singapore come over with roti prata and curry at 11 o'clock, and we have champagne all the way in the afternoon. And it's like an open house; everybody comes and goes. And I'm gonna sing the standard Mariah Carey "All I Want for Christmas Is You" song, but better, maybe. <laughs>、um, I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need, and I I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I just want you for my own, more than you can ever know. My favorite song, I love it. It's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, but imagine it's sung by a old Chinese man in a karaoke bar after ten beers. Okay, <laughs> all right, take it away, Megan.、Um, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw it, you can even say it glows. All of the other reindeers used to laugh and call him names, but Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. Couldn't join in any reindeer games. I'm sorry, that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you, Megan.